Today is an exciting day because one, it's my first ever vlog on this channel for Pokemon, and two, we are on our way to a pre-release tournament for Obsidian Flames over at Infinity Cards and Collectibles. Not really sure how much footage I'll get while I'm there, but I'll definitely show you guys around the store. I'll show you my pack openings for the booster bundles I get and the kind of deck that I end up building and maybe if I can, uh, bits of the matches that I play and I'll at the end, I'll give you an update on, on what's going on. So just bear with me because I don't really know what I'm doing, but I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you at infinity. And just like that, I'm already here. So I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little bit nervous. I don't vlog at all, right? Uh, but I just pulled up. I'm going to go in. Wish me luck in the tournament. I'll give you guys a recap at the end. But from here on out, I think most of the video is going to be mostly a montage. So play the clips. <laughs> Oh boy, just got out of the store. Here's a little bit messed up. It's crazy. There was a pretty good turnout. There was about 24, yeah, there were 24 people there. Uh, my first match was an L. 
it wasn't it wasn't looking good after match one so it was a pre-release tournament for anyone who doesn't know what that means is you basically get a build and battle box that comes with a pre-built deck and four sealed packs you open your four sealed packs and then you can use whatever cards you get from there to to supplement your your deck uh, the pre-release format does have smaller decks or 40 cards rather than 60. I ended up getting a Camperet deck and a Togekiss deck, uh, Camperet Togekiss combo. Uh, it, and it ended up working out really well. Uh, you would have seen it earlier in the montage, but my first match was a big L. I basically mirror matched up kind of against another Camperet guy and Camperet has this one skill where if you use your attack, you both top deck your card and if you, for each energy discarded between you and your opponent, your Camperit does an additional 100 damage in addition to its 50 base damage. Um, we were a mirror matchup. I was attacking with my Camperit, or whatever his name is, and I was not getting a single energy discard. He was getting energy discards every attack, so it is what it is. I ended up losing my first match, and I honestly wasn't very confident with my deck. It didn't feel good however i went into round two i won easy dubs so i'm like okay one and one now i'm feeling a little bit better uh my goal was 50 percent pokemon professor there said that there would be six matches in total there actually only ended up being five due to time constraints uh so i won my second match ended up one and one won my third match too boy i'm now two one and i'm feeling really good uh, my, my third match was actually really hard. We were both down to one prize card. We were both down to like two, three cards left in our deck. It was close, but I snuck out a win. I thought I was losing for like eight, for like the last eight turns. I thought I was losing. Um, little did I know, he also thought he was losing. So it turns out, uh, he lost faster. So thankfully I won that. Uh, in the end, I ended up winning four straight matches after my first loss. Uh, that's a 4-1 record for me, and that resulted with me finishing third out of 24 people. And this was only my second ever pre-release tournament. In fact, it's only my third time ever playing uh, a competitive IRL match. IRL. Now, since I came third, I my reward was, a, was bonus packs. They give bonus packs to the top five finishers, I believe. Uh, I don't know how many packs each person got. All I know is in third place for me, I got a bonus six packs. So let's take you over and let's see what we hit in those six packs.
Well, I'm finally home. The build and battle box went kind of crazy. Now that I think about it, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't mention this earlier, but you would have noticed that the booster bundle went for four hits and there's only four packs in those boxes. So we did get a 100% hit rate from that box, but one pack was a dud pack. We did get a double cheeseburger from one of the packs. And from the six packs that we got from finishing third place, that was only a one hitter. In fact, why don't we just show you guys uh, all my hits? And that was all the hits. So we had five of them total and we opened 10 packs. We had a 50% hit rate all in all. So that's actually really, really good. Someone did hit the Charizard SIR. Uh, that's crazy because, you know, had I been in the right spot, I could have had that box. But big shout out to Infinity Cards and Collectibles for hosting their ever first, their first ever pre-release tournament as well. It was fun, they had a great turnout. Everyone who goes there is very genuinely nice people and the people who work there are genuinely nice people. Shout out Kevin. So I highly recommend checking them out online or in store if you guys are local. I do want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, did you enjoy this vlog? I know it wasn't very good. I know it wasn't really me walking around in the wilderness. I was either in my car or in the store. I uh, now in my house, but I listen, I'm just doing this off my phone, okay? If I record out on the street, all you guys can hear are the cars and the wind and there's nothing I can do about it. So let me know down below if you enjoyed this. Uh, I'll try to make more if, if, if the video, you know, if you guys let me know you like it. I'll try to make more. I mean, it was fun to make. We'll see if it's fun to edit. Give me a good old like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, uh, we do post videos every Monday. We cover English and Japanese products. I try, I've done one news video and as of now, I've done one vlog video. So if I, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll keep branching out and trying new things and, and see what I like. But for now, I will see you guys next time. Bye.